Hey, Mama Gail here. I wanted to share a quick uh, dinner recipe with you all. I make something called flautas, and it's just a Spanish rolled taco. You may have had it in a restaurant. Um, called, they're called taquitos sometimes. They serve them with sour cream, guacamole, and, um, and a shredded cheddar cheese, but I just wanted to share it. It's really easy to do. What I've done is I've um, made some taco seasoning, and my taco seasoning, I like to use chili powder, and a little bit of oregano, some uh, dry cilantro that will reconstitute inside the water, um, inside the chicken stock, which I saved after I cooked my chicken, um, black pepper, onion powder, and some cumin, and of course salt. Um, you want to taste it, make sure it's good, the, the seasonings are good for you, or if you prefer, you can just use uh, package seasoning. Um, some of the, the uh, brand name package seasonings they're they're really good so you can try that what I've done is I've got that cooking in here I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of my chicken to that and all I did with my chicken after I cooked it was cubed it and I cooked it till the chicken was just done I don't want it overcooked because it'll turn to mush in the liquid so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there and we are going to let that cook down a little just a little bit because I want all the meat to get the sauce all over it to get the cooking um, all the spices and all the great taste inside the chicken you can see some of it had turned red right already where I had started um, before I decided to film because I really want to I want to teach you guys I have a lot of people that like flautas they can't make them or they think they can't make them but this is it again you're just going to add your taco seasoning to your chicken stock um, it's always a good idea to drain your chicken stock, your chicken stock, and strain it, just so you can get the the little uh, the white things that that come off the chicken, like the picas and all that that come off the chicken. You want to make sure that you get rid of all that. So we're just you can see it's turning red. All the meat is taking the color of the chili powder and all those great seasonings and spices that are in here. Okay, the easy part of this is you let this simmer while you heat your tortillas and let me get look this here just put that on a simmer spot this is the oil that I'm going to fry the tortillas in and it's also the oil that I'm going to just soften them up with and I'll show you what I mean it's pretty warm put this on this side And turn that down a little bit. Okay, my tortillas are just plain corn tortillas. If you're feeling really, um, <laughs> you've got that cooking skill down, please feel free to make your own tortillas. Corn tortillas, they don't think they're, they're that hard. You make them with masa, but I prefer to use the store-bought tortillas just for time. Um, my time limits here. So all you want to do is you want to warm the tortilla in the oil. You see how pliable it is? You want it to be loosey-goosey. We're going to go ahead and do that a few more times. And a little bit more, maybe. I just don't want it to fall apart in the pan. Loosey-goosey. Get another one. See how quickly this goes? You get that grease, that oil, nice and hot. And all this is is vegetable oil. If you don't like using vegetable oil, um, olive oil will work. You can do a mixture of olive oil or vegetable oil. Just whatever sounds good for you. Whatever works. If you're into that healthy, healthy, by by all means, use the olive oil. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Okay, I'm going to show you real quick. Once we get those heated, we're going to roll the meat into the tortillas. Let me resituate my camera here. Bear with me. Okay, there's my tortillas. There's my meat. I'm going to go ahead and show you. Now a lot of people like to use a, a toothpick when they're doing this. I prefer just to use the tortillas seam side. You want to put some meat in there. And if you have giant tortillas, you're going to use a lot of meat. Don't use a lot of meat in little tortillas because they will bust open. You're going to roll the tortilla. You see that there? And then we're going to lay it seam side down into the oil. And let it start cooking. You'll hear it popping over here in a minute. Hear that? Your grease is nice and hot and it's working. Get another one on here. And then we'll go back, I'll show you how they cook. So simple, so simple. If you get your seasonings down for your taco meat, you'll be in like Flynn. So simple, let's get this 
in the pan. And if you have a lot of liquid in your tortilla, you're going to hear a lot of popping. So just be careful because it does get pretty warm over there. It gets kind of hot. And my thing is baking, but today I just wanted to show you a quick, something quick you could do with some chicken and some tortillas that your family is going to love. They're going to want you to bake these all the time. Another one. Okay. And let's get one more. I want to fry them up so I can show you how to serve them as well. This is something you can do probably within an hour. You can cook your chicken. Chicken doesn't take that long to cook. You're going to season it in the stock. So you don't have to buy stock. You've got the stock already. Throw that back in there. Waste not, want not. I'm going to show you these guys frying over here now. And I used quite a bit of oil because I wanted you to see just how... Um, let's get that bit there how quickly you could cook these. But you don't, I mean, like I said, if you're into doing healthy, don't use a lot of oil. Just do what you, what you know. Use olive oil or whatever serves, serves you right. Let me turn that up a little bit. Get that going good. Okay, once they start to cook, you'll notice them start to get brown on the side. And if you check them, you can check them by just touching them. If they start, if they stick together, and they're not flopping around and they're not busting open. It's usually a good sign that they're cooking well. Let's get that out of there. I definitely don't want to get popped with hot chicken, moist chicken. We're gonna let these cook up a little hotter maybe. Okay. All right. And just watch that for a second. You're gonna watch how fast they come together. They're frying. My family loves these. My father-in-law loves them. My husband really loves them. Um, and he's, he's like, we used to have, when I made these for my boys when they were younger, they used to have contests with my husband just to see who could eat the most of them. You see how they're cooking? They're getting nice and crispy. Yep, you can feel that. I'm going to wait uh, just a little bit longer. I want them to get a little bit more brown before I do anything with them. And then once I get them nice and crispy, I'll flip them and let them cook on the other side. Like I said, if you want to use a toothpick to do this, you can. You can seal one side with a toothpick till it's nice and crispy, flip it over, and, and some, you can even remove the toothpick at that time. And I think they're just about there. Yep, look at that. We're going to go ahead and flip them. See how they stay together with the seam? If you let them cook long enough. Go ahead and flip another. Don't leave your chicken floating around in there because it does have moisture and it will pop you. We're still flipping. These are so good. They are so delicious. Oh, my grandkids just came. I think they're, they're probably sleepy. Probably heard that. Their mom's rushing them out. <laughs> I like to drain them. Once I get them all frayed up, Nice and crispy on both sides. I like to drain the grease. I like to fry in grease, but I don't want to have a whole bunch of grease in my food. So we're going to go ahead and let those fry up. A little more crispy. You can feel when you when they start to get crispy, you won't be able to, to move them a whole bunch with your spatula. I think this one is pretty much there. Notice I'm draining the grease. Tip it over on the side, drain it away from you. You want it, if it's gonna have liquid and it's and grease and liquid, boom, it's gonna pop. We're going to put them on a tray. And I like to put them just on a, a cookie sheet, which I'll have plenty of since I bake all the time. We're gonna put them on a cookie sheet and what I do is line them up in a row and then I do another row so that any excess grease, when I put them in the oven, in the warm oven, it's just gonna drain off and it's gonna drain into your pan. So go ahead and finish this. And I wanted to show you, once I get them done, I want to show you real quickly how I serve them. Just so you can get an idea of what you might like on your flautas. And you see that? I was talking about that hot grease. Yeah, we don't want that. Okay, I'm going to turn this grease off for a second. I'll finish the rest of the flautas for my family later. And I will be... Okay, I have my... Um, 
my tortillas, they're all done, all the flautas, they're cooked up really nice and brown, golden brown, crispy. You can hear the crispness on them. I'm gonna go ahead and plate those. And I'm going to sit them on this beautiful black plate just because food presentation is everything, right? If it looks great, people will want to eat it. Set that there. Okay. Now when I serve flautas, I give people an option. They can have um, sour cream and cheese, which almost all the time they're gonna want that. They're gonna want the sour cream and cheese. So with the sour cream, stir it up real good, get it nice and creamy. And we're just gonna dollop that on those. Cause you want, you want that taste in everybody. You want to taste it. If you're gonna put sour cream on, come on. You wanna taste it in every bite. So let's put that in there. Okay, and then my cheese. These are another, another good thing about these. It's finger food. So, ta-da, cheddar cheese. Sprinkle that on there. And it will adhere to the sour cream. Yum. You can serve it with lettuce and tomato and a salad on the side. Or if you guys are just big meat and tortilla eaters, you can just serve those like that. That's my flautas. Enjoy your meal. Make this for your family. They will really love this. It's a great, easy dinner. It's not hard. Like I said, if you don't want to season your own meat, use, use taco seasoning from the store. Um, has all the same ingredients, the cumin, the chili pepper or chili powder, the garlic powder, onion powder, all that, just save some time. But make this for your family. I think they're gonna love it. I know mine does. You guys have a great night.